March 3rd, 2009. That morning I woke up, took a handful of sleeping pills and painkillers. I didn't want to be here anymore. I had planned for that day already. I had a day off from work. I picked up what I thought would do, what I planned on doing was taking, uh, you know, Oxycontin, sleeping pills, not waking up. That morning I did, I uh, took a handful of sleeping pills, painkillers, and washed it down with a snapple. Um, made a phone call, a phone call that actually saved my life. Um, not going to say to who, I'm not looking to blame, you know, but Luckily, I made that phone call, and that person made another call that got back to a loved one who uh, knocked on my door and was able to wake me up. I was hallucinating, lying, uh, shit, heart rate, I forgot how high it was. Spent just a couple hours in the hospital drinking charcoal and whatnot and just making up stories lying to people why I did it, you know what I mean? I'm not looking to blame anyone. It's, there is no blame. My decision was done over a heartbreak, which is not stupid, you know what I mean? It was just how I felt that day. Uh, depression, broken heart. The broken heart isn't to blame, you know what I mean? I still now speak to that person. She uh, actually is a good friend. And she's actually the person I go to when I'm feeling depressed. Yeah, you know. It was actually seeing people on Facebook, you know, making posts about how the world would be better without them and such and such. So I would slide in people's, you know, DMs or message them, whatever, you know, share my story. And, you know, when I did, it was never as like a pity party or never used my depression as a crutch. I shared my story to try to help others, you know? Um, I actually had to sit my mother down and explain to her what I did. That was the toughest thing I've ever done. The look on my mother's face was something I can't forget. Even getting the tattoo years later of the date and showing my mom just showed me. I, mean, I made a big mistake. And if you did <clears throat> go through with it, how, how do you think you know, your mother would have... Seeing that suicide is something that my father lost a brother too. Him losing his only son would have been, I don't know. Even being by my mother's side when she battled cancer, you know what I mean? I think of that. If I wasn't here, I would have. She, uh, done with, with all that. Talk to someone, a friend, anyone. Sit your parents down, anyone. Even me, you can hit me up on Instagram at bumlife underscore vintage, Facebook, Kenny Serrano. I'm here at any time. Also, if anyone hears a friend say something and they just think, oh, he's crazy or he's stupid or he or she, nah, talk to him, trust me. If you're comfortable enough to speak about suicide, it's something you've thought about. It took me forever to share it. I think it took me five years to speak to anyone. When anyone asked me why I was in the hospital, I lied and said it was a drug overdose. I've opened up to people about it. You know what I mean? A lot of people didn't know. I, rub I try to brush it off like it didn't happen. Even after that incident with the painkillers and whatnot, I was prescribed because of a back injury to painkillers. And it became normal to take them now because of my supposed injury, which I brushed off and did them because of depression. Oh, day's not going well, 
easy to pop a pill and forget. Um, as of September, I stopped taking them, and life's been alright. Here it is, ten years later, and still that day is not haunting. I try not to relive it. Obviously, you know what I mean. It was it was a day that uh, that I hurt a lot of people. You know what I mean. I wasn't thinking. I didn't think about my mom, my father, stepmother, siblings, brothers, sisters, shit, everyone, man. Um, I wake up some days with the same pit feeling in my stomach of that day. And just get up, do something. I've contacted people and told them, hey, I feel like shit. Let's go do something, you know, just to get out the house. Depression, I don't know, it's weird. Depression doesn't have a look. There isn't a, a symptom, oh shit, look. There he is, sad as hell, no man. I'm a happy-go-lucky person. Everyone who I shared my story with would have thought the same, like wow, you, of all people? Yeah. People say it's not. Yeah, yeah, for people to say that's not a disease. Well, okay, but to write it off as you no, just, it's, you it's, know it's, I mean. No, it's a disease, man. It's a disease, to be out there smiling, happy still feel you know what I mean? like, like a misfit, like you don't fit in. What do you say to people who, who say depression is not because it's depression is, uh, you know, it's people being crazy or lazy or it's people that just got too much time on their hands? Never. Because people, I work, I work, shit, 40 hours a week, weekends. It's, it's not about staying busy. It's, it's not a lazy man disease or a crazy man disease. Depression is real. But how do you channel your energy now in a positive way versus back then? Maybe you know you feel my go-to thing. Um, I thrift. Thrift. So something that I like. Yeah, something I like doing to keep you busy. Smallest tattoo I have, the most meaning behind it. What made you get it? Um, every day I wake up, and this the first thing I see in the mirror. Just it helps me. It helps me. Uh, realize life is worth living. Um, so you don't want to forget it. No, no. Like I've, I've never try tried to it. not brush it under the rug like it never happened no it did happen it's a decision I made um I'm not mad at I'm glad I'm here life it's, a be it's a beautiful I don't need to have a ton of money I have life and love from loved ones friends family Thank you.